those big trees down, yep, down. something we saw just yesterday. We were talking about in Ohio, West Virginia, but even in Pennsylvania. I mean, I saw a lot of people posting pictures, Ron, of trees down in various places. And, and you know, one of the things uh, that was a little concerning yesterday was it seems like a lot of folks, you got that message to take cover from the tornado, uh, and a lot of folks just went back to bed. Uh, you know, we actually had uh, yesterday that EF1 that was confirmed right here well over into the uh, moon area by the airport. So certainly some dangerous weather that was coming through yesterday. Please, when those notices come out, we could have more notices and warnings coming out today. Do not ignore those. They are there for your safety and for your family's safety too. 64 high temperature today. Temperatures way down for where we were yesterday. And, and today is also a first alert weather day. That means you're going to see a lot of those red highlights on our graphics. Uh, you're going to see the Gulf Tower lit up in red because we want you to be aware of what's going on. So we're going to do everything we can to make sure you don't ignore uh, the potential for some uh, severe weather today. Large hail, some downpours are going to be possible this morning. We'll switch to more of a wind concern as we're heading into the afternoon hours. Rain and storms also will be possible. Rain totals could top about an inch in most places, but there could be some areas some communities. Maybe if you see one of the stronger storms, you're looking at an inch and a half to two inches of rain. Highs today also just into the 60s, so we're going to be way down by about 15 degrees from yesterday. We are running nearly 10 degrees above average so far this month. All right, the leading line. Now, model data was showing that the big push of rain and that storm chance doesn't get here until after 8 o'clock. I was concerned because as I was coming in, I saw this line of showers. We had some uh, flash flood warnings just south of I-70 into Ohio. That has fallen apart. We're going to get a big push though later on this morning. I'll show that to you coming up. Also, again, it's going to be a nasty one for the southeast today. They're going to be looking at rain storm chances there. They're a level three out of five. We're just a level one out of five. Still dangerous, but at least our rain chances aren't as high as what we're going to see down to the south and storm chances. All right, by 10, 11 o'clock. Now, most it looks like right now, most of the morning hours are going to be dry for you. It looks like if you're in Pittsburgh, your morning commute will be dry. We will begin to see after nine o'clock this line of showers lifting coming our way. A lot of lightning embedded in some of those cells could see some large hail as we're heading into the afternoon. Rain showers will be spotty. A couple of very fast moving cells also will be possible, bringing us a severe weather chance. Temperatures right now are at 59 degrees for those temperatures. A little cooler to the north where you're looking at clear skies along I 80. Highs today again just at 63. Big cool down, a lot cooler than what we saw yesterday. Here's your seven day 60, your Friday high 60 on Saturday. Not quite as cold on Sunday at 67 and 75, your Monday high. I will say that uh, I've been mentioning a chance for some frost on Saturday because of cloud cover. It looks like that's going to be very small and would be confined to some areas that are really uh, up into the Laurel Highlands.